So it is 2.30. We've been at the airport since 6 a.m. So it's been a while. My flight was canceled from Miami to Toronto because of a mechanical issue. And then everything was absolutely booked because it was a full flight for rescheduling. So now I'm headed to Charlotte, North Carolina for the night. And then I'm gonna fly from Charlotte to Toronto tomorrow. So it kind of sucks. It's gonna be a full day. Like I'm literally gonna be in the airport for like 12 hours today. But you make the best of it, and I get to see a little bit of Charlotte, North Carolina. So we made it to Charlotte. I checked in the hotel. Now let's go see Charlotte. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and I'm currently about to go to Max Speed Shop to try their Fat Boy Challenge. It is a five-pound barbecue sandwich challenge. I'll have the ingredients in a voiceover. The music's really loud. That's it across the street, and that's what you're hearing right now, so I'm doing the video over here. Uh, I have one hour to complete it, and there's also a half pound of macaroni and cheese. It's about a five and a half, six pound challenge, one hour time limit. If we fail, it will be $65, so we're gonna try not to do that. So let's go see what this challenge has to offer. Here we are, we have the Fat Boy Challenge. I have a one hour time limit, so we're gonna start the challenge at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Thanks very much, brother. Thank you. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to today's awesome challenge in Charlotte, North Carolina. This was an absolutely splendid experience, and let me start with what was in the sandwich. So we had onion rings. We had a super, 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 super hard sourdough bread, which as part of the rules, it could not be dunked, which I've seen other people do this challenge, and their bread seemed to be a lot softer, so maybe I just got a few day old one. Uh, it then had coleslaw. Everything was also covered in, I forget the exact name of it, but a very, very spicy like habanero or what is some kind of spicy sauce. We then had brisket, pulled pork, sausage patties, and I believe that was about it. Uh, anyway, it was absolutely delicious. I really did enjoy this challenge. Uh, it also had some macaroni and cheese, which was just fair, but the sandwich was delicious. I really enjoyed the variety of it, and although it was a, a lot spicier than I originally anticipated, though there's bacon on it too, I uh, really did enjoy it. I love barbecue, and this was a great little challenge. The challenge itself is sitting around five and a half pounds. The sandwich is five pounds weighed out. Uh, then the macaroni and cheese, which is probably about half pound. Wasn't rushing this one, just wanted to enjoy it. I had a long day of travel, and I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Probably about five minutes in, it's really, really good. It's very spicy though. Good though, the barbecue. Don't eat the whole thing, it's free, right? 
At this point, things changed a little bit. You can't see the gentleman, but you can see his little Tego box there in the corner. A gentleman came, sat directly across me, and started having a full-on conversation. Shortly, I'd say about another five people came over and started crowding around, and you can see I'm very much talking to them as they're definitely asking me lots of questions. By the end of this challenge, I probably had about 20 people actually around watching me, um, which, I mean, hey, I always appreciate it. Uh, it does, you know, when I have especially a gentleman literally trying to have a full conversation with me. Uh, just, you know, slow things down a little bit, change the dynamic of the challenge. Um, but, you know, hey, you just make the best of it, roll with the punches, and overall it was a funny experience and it definitely added to it. So I am definitely appreciative of them stopping by. Is this for life? I hope so. We just finished the fat boy challenge. I'm officially a fat boy. At that, it was absolutely delicious. Everybody here was great. The staff, the crowd is also being very supportive. <laughs> providing some nice entertainment on a Wednesday night. So that, if you're ever in the area, this is definitely the place to come by. Max Speed Shop is great. Uh, the barbecue was delicious. I look forward to having more. No, I'm just kidding, that was enough. Uh, so that, everybody, until next time, thanks for watching. I believe I get a t-shirt, I get the milk free, and happy eating.
on my way back to the hotel from Max, man, that place is awesome. The staff were excellent. A uh, special shout out to the manager there, or maybe the owner, his name was Mitch. Uh, there was a number of servers who were all excellent, uh, waitresses, everybody there was excellent. Such a cool supportive crowd as well, there was a lot of people watching me, cheering me on. Um, and the food was excellent, that brisket was so good, the pulled pork was good, there was a sausage patty on it, which at first I thought it was a burger patty, but it was tasting like cured meat which is really good. Uh, it was actually a lot spicier than I thought as well. There's this spicy sauce on it, which like really kind of numb, it was so spicy that it would kind of numb your mouth, kind of cover up the flavor. That bread was super hard to eat. It was like a sourdough bread, um, but overall excellent challenge, super delicious. I love barbecue and this definitely did not disappoint. So again, if you're ever in proximity of one of the low max speed shop locations, it would definitely recommend it, and this is a really cool challenge. This is a very big and beautiful building. Lots of marble, stonework, and art. This is called Founders Hall in Charlotte, North Carolina. Massive. So, made it to Charlotte. Uh, the airport. Okay, I got, I never before have gotten in an airport and it smelled like barbecue and kind of like fried chicken. So I thought that was really, really funny because you know, like South or North Carolina and barbecue. 